sometimes it's a gamble but what's funny is the gamble it's like gambling with money because you gamble with money you don't know that you're going to win but when you win it feels so much better and like I'm gambling with these papers and pens and shit I'm drawing and then something amazing comes out of it that is that feels good you know it feels good and it's a fascinating feeling it's something I am that, that, that's it's creativity being creative making stuff is, is feeling good but also making stuff wild and and not knowing what the hell's happening just this wild west mentality and that's why I think a lot of people lean into the abstract as well or at least I would lean sometimes I lean into the abstract because like from that abstraction you take away like this desire to draw something hyper realistic or hyper photo realistic or something that you think someone's going to like like with the abstraction you're just enjoying a shape or a moment or spilling stuff or just feeling the moment and that's what makes it better you know and then sometimes it's beautiful and from that chaos of the unknown comes something beautiful because maybe it and this is getting hyper fucking you know spiritually weird hokey shit but maybe there's a tethering to that kind of mindset and it pairs well with how we exist just as a people we are chaos in the flesh like we're here because we were the most you know efficient or the most beautiful as the time went on we're this chaos is slowly chipping away at the marble of just everything and it's it's there's no plan you know like to jump the shark this definitely would never happen but say tomorrow a child is born with wings <laughs> Somebody going to want to fuck them. Then eventually we'll have 10 wing babies and 40 wing babies and 5,000 wing babies and a million wing babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, the idea is like, it's chaos. Like, we didn't plan on it. Nothing. It was a fucking freak mutation. And that, maybe the the desire for the abstract is that. It's, it's we're, we're, we're excited about, especially as an artist, as a creator, you know, it's evolution happening, like a creative evolution, an artistic evolution happening on the paper. And maybe, maybe it doesn't appeal to everyone, you know? Like people that look at it and they don't understand, oh, why is this abstract? I don't understand a lot of abstraction because, like, as an artist, I can see the ease in which it was created. And I see, you know, like, yes, it's art, whatever, you created something, but I don't see value to it, some of this shit is a little too fucking rudimentary like you're you're taking the piss and one could say that's the art of it is like you don't have to like it's you know you, your art in that way is laughing in the face of the whole system because it doesn't matter but that's another argument for a different time but that but if you can understand that like you can enjoy abstract art if you don't create art by understanding that it is um, an embracing of the chaos and just laying shit out and throwing stuff and seeing what feels good in the moment and then backing up and going, that looks nice. This feels good. This, in, this incites a thought. When someone looks at it, they want to study it and look at it, you know? Because your, your, brain, your brain makes... Your brain, your brain makes all kinds of, like... Sees faces and, and shit and clouds and stuff. Like, you, you have this analytical mind. This, an, you know, a mind that wants to analyze things. And when you do, like, messy shit right... It gives you this opportunity to look at this chaos and go, wow. And even if you don't make sense of it, it's this... Moment of... Mental like a little mental mini game that in, that your brain can enjoy and that's I think that's one of the reasons abstract art is created and abstract art is enjoyed is because we are abstract art <laughs> every one of us because not all the pieces that we have are necessary in our body 
not all the things that happen to us are, are needed. We are all just a just a amalgamation of whatever the fuck evolution gave us. And that's nice. We are abstract. Like as far as like if the universe were a canvas, we are abstract shapes upon it. And I like the shape that I am. I like what I uh, think and do. Sometimes. But yeah, that's that's my hokey ass, you know, overly spiritual, you know, breakdown of it. It's not really, I don't want to say spiritual. It's not, I don't think there's anything like spirit wise. It's just, because that's the truth. Evolution made us. Evolution isn't a god. Evolution is just fucking happenstance. Coincidence. And the embracing of that is important. Because once you embrace that, you'd realize that there really isn't no grand designer that made you in six days and rested on the seventh because I guess the Super Bowl is on. You start to realize that none of it matters, but everything matters because nothing matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is a desire to embrace the understanding that we're all very finite and and we're just blips you know so why hate someone because they want to you know be homosexual or why hate someone because their skin is different color you know why hate them because you know things like that it it would The, the breaking down of these deities and the embracing of the, the wild chaos that is the universe would be refreshing. It would be a renaissance of sorts of humanity and society because we've never been without, you know, some form of desire to worship something bigger than us. Because we're smart, our brains work, and we try to. Put, we're not monkeys. We don't just eat, you know, bananas and shit in our hand and throw it. You know, we do that and also think. <laughs> and we think and because we think we think that we're, you know, special. Because we think if we're special, we have to make gods that sit on Olympus and make us and created us and do all these weird shits and you know because of us. You know, and then it's really not. You know, you'd think a lot of people's like, well, if there's nothing after it, like, would that be scary? No, really, I don't guess. Makes me far more time sensitive and conscious about now. Not that I think like the afterlife's going to be any better. Like any of these afterlifes that have been told are absolutely dog shit. To be fair, like heavens and golden roads and so you could tell that heavens bullshit, but they talking about the roads are paved with gold. Like, God doesn't need gold. God doesn't need you to think the roads are really rad. Like, an existence with no pain. Like, why does he have to show you opulence? Why does God even like opulence? He literally talks about being, you know, like riches and, and desires are not a thing. Like, you shouldn't want to be rich. Like, a rich man in the eye of a needle and bullshit like that. Like, So why would heaven be baller-ass fucking episode of MTV Cribs? You know, like Jesus riding around in the fucking Phantom with, you know, 24 inch rims and the streets are gold. They, it's stupid. It is a, des, it is a design of the times. They thought gold was the tits back then because it was the tittiest of tits. Like nothing was cooler than gold, you know, back then. So like if, if, if you were to design a religion today, it would be all sorts of different shit. <laughs> So yeah, and that's it's fascinating. Now back to the point. I me took a, taking a little detour to slag off religion, um, but it's important like to understand the chaos of existence and enjoy it and and create and and the creativity of you know abstract creativity is fun because it it it's a fascinating it's fascinating to create something you didn't know existed in your own mind because you know you we all try to be in the moment and controlling things. But to create something out of nothing, just out of shapes and paint and stuff, 
feels good, you know? It's impressive. And it never stops being impressive to me. That's what's that's what is impressive of the impre you know being impressive is like I like I make art and when I make something new and beautiful, it makes me feel good. And if you're someone who enjoys buying art from people, buy my art is fifty percent off right now. But if you like um buying stuff from people and creating and enjoying art, that's how you really get enjoyment out of the art. You know. There's a lot of shit you can waste your money on in life. But I don't think if you bought a piece of artwork, like if you understood it, like what you're buying, you'd realize it was not wasteful. Especially at a decent price from someone who creates it and, and, and enjoys it. It's like you were celebrating creativity. If you just look at it like that and you're not thinking about the money you're giving to an artist to help them eat, to help them exist, to, to keep a small beacon of hope alive in a world that is riddled with greed, consumerism, and would rather you be a lawyer or to bicker over disputes between one another or to be a politician, to be a scum fuck. A politician, ideally... In the ideal ideal world, would be a good thing to be somebody who would lead, who would want to help the people. But that's not what it is, and that's a whole other story for a different time. But with all these piss ass fucking professions that exist, creativity, painting something, making something beautiful, hanging it up in in your particular house to look at it. To be reminded of it. That's that's what it's it's kinda like words of affirmation. People like say that words of affirmation help them. They look in the mirror and they say, like, we're beautiful, we're worth it, we're going to do things, you know, and you say these words, whatever your aff you know, words of affirmation are, these are little tokens, little shinies that keep you tethered to a world of of, of being a fucking decent human, existing in a in a world that is built that has been built for a long time to be cruel and unkind and greed-ridden. Um, but you can look at these, you know, it's like a visual token. You look at it on the wall and you see this painting that I did and you realize that this was an echo of my life. Whether I exist still or I'm dead, it's something you can look at and go, fuck. This is a reminder that beauty and creativity exist that like making things happen, that painting, that trying to draw and have a documentation of, of beautiful things exists. Man, that's fucking, that's awesome. If I had more money, I would buy other people's art. I would love to have a house full of the shit because not only does my art make me feel good when I see it because it's something I've created and it contributed to the world, but to see other people's contributions to a fucking world of suffering that's important it is important folks 100% at least I think it is I mean I know it is because it's one of the many things that make us amazing when you think about humanity think about yourself as an animal no gods created you. You think of yourself as an animal. What makes you different than a rhino? What makes you different than a monkey? What makes you different than a lizard? One of the many things is the ability to have complex communication with one another. To design and create things. To celebrate the world that we're living in. You know? You know, that's something I don't think lizards can do. You know, and then some animals can peacock, create feathers and beautiful, like, shiny things they find and make, you know, stuff to attract a mate. But that's to attract a mate that'll stand out. And I don't think art 
if done correctly, is really to try to stand out. Like opulence is that way, like trying to buy your fancy shoes and shirts and shit. A lot of the times people buy that for clout. I don't think art, if done correctly, is for clout. It is for little glimpses of what is fundamentally human and to enjoy such things is to be able to have an understanding of existence like I don't think there really is a particular meaning to life apart from living and living the most joyous life you can but if there were some form of meaning of life is to create stuff to have to to utilize your cognition your your leg up in the evolutionary race a cat can't do it so why not draw a picture of a cat draw a picture of the starry night or draw a picture of a tree or paint a picture of a beautiful you know person or form or or animal or or something that is fascinating to me that i feel is a celebration you know, like celebrating life while you're living it is, I think, important. Because there's plenty of reason to get bummed the fuck out. So if you try to counteract it with things like art and music and poetry and and shit like that. <laughs> I hate to break my poetic TED talk there, but it's the truth. So abstract is nice because it's it's like... It's, it's the closest, it's just this wild evolution. This forge of ideas that are just making, are manifesting on the paper without sketching or anything. You're just kind of going at it. Uh, yeah, sketching is good. Sketching is important. Sketching helps you. But, right? Just have fun with it.